So pay close attention anytime you have a reflection to what you're reflecting over. It's not always going to be your y on the x-axis. Remember that this means the x-coordinate is always one, always one. Sorry, I had trouble reading this morning. Is always one, which means that if I'm not sure where this line goes, go to the graph, plot a couple points that has an x of one. There's four or three of them. All right, and then draw that line in there. Okay, I'm going to label it so that it's on there, so it's nice and labeled. Once I know what I'm reflecting over, I always highlight it. Same color I highlighted it in the problem. And then I just take each point and count it to that line on the other side. So one, two, one, two. There's where T goes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There's where Y goes, or sorry, U goes. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's where... Uh, y goes so t prime y prime u prime now it doesn't again this oh no hang on sorry this one does say state for coordinates so t prime y prime u prime so t is two one two three four t prime is two four u is one two three four one and y is five six one two three four five so there they are, they're stated. They have to be stated in a problem like that for me to get full credit. 